What is up, guys, and welcome back to Deter Plays, and this is the next episode of the Lumion PvP Overview Series. So in this episode, we are going to cover the Zulong. In these episodes, what we do in these videos, we cover one Lumion, we go over what their base stats are, we talk about what they're strong against, what they're weak against, give you some tips for battle, and also tell you what recommended moves, what recommended items, what recommended personality traits you should get, and what recommended training you should go for. So this one right here, the Zulong, of course, uh, this is one of the most popular ones, and it is used a lot in PvP, and a lot of people have been looking forward to this one. This is the last of the starters that we're covering as a part of the series, but don't worry, we're going to cover all of the other Lumians as well. This is an electric and an ancient type of, uh, of Lumion. So those are it's going, going to be its basic strengths if it goes into battle and it's just got the normal ability which is the Awakening which increases those moves a little bit more. It also has a secret move that you can try to go for that is called Brute Force. So Brute Force is a move, it's, it's basically, um, it removes status effects inflicted by the user's moves in return for 20% more damage. So if there's any uh, inflicted statuses, it returns those and you get more damage. So that is kind of a really useful one uh, to use, but the, again, the normal Awakening ability is pretty useful as well. So let's take a look at what it's strong against and what it's weak against generally here at first. So uh, now we're going to look at its major weaknesses are nothing. It has no actual like major weakness that you have to worry about here. Uh, it's regular weaknesses now. Uh, light, Earth, and Ancient. And we're going to talk about how it will perform against uh, most of the basic starters as well. Uh, it's resistant to Water type, Plant type, Air type, and Spirit type. And it also has a major resistance to other electric type and then normal effectiveness for all those other ones. And as you can see, there's nothing that it has an immunity to. There's several other things that do actually have an immunity to the electric type. We've seen that, you know, if you pull out like a Borak and you try to hit it with an electric move, it's not really going to do that stuff. So there are a lot of things that it does that does have an immunity to the electric type moves. But when you're in battle, it can actually be pretty effective against most things except for a Himber. See, which is the weird thing, it has a normal effectiveness against the Himber, but it doesn't just really, it just doesn't hit hard enough to actually affect the Himber the way it should, where the Himber, if it comes in, it can do an Earth move, and it can hit it pretty hard, because Earth, uh, the Earth move is a weakness for the Zulong, so even though you're going to outspeed something like a Himber in battle, because this is definitely fast, we're going to look at the base stats, and we're going to show you that information, but just because you can outspeed a Himber doesn't mean you're going to be able to take it down, and if it hits you, it's likely to hurt you with one hit because it has pretty low defenses, especially the melee defenses. Now, in battle against like a Cyranite, a Luminami, a Tatab, the Thunderstrike is going to be very useful. You'll be just fine. An Elemental Burst should take out the Vesperatu in about one hit and is probably going to be the strongest thing that you'd have against a Himber and another Zulong. So that Elemental Burst can be really useful in battle. Thunderstrike is useful as well against a lot of those, but remember, when you use a Thunderstrike, it's probably likely that the They'll anticipate that move and probably put out something like a Borak or something that will be able to absorb the electric because like also like the Eliguana seems to be pretty tough against this guy as well. Also, there's certain things out there that do really well like plant type and fire type and air like those are it has resistances to those but um, I battled a plant type like a wiki wiki. Uh, those things can be tanks, and they can be stallers, and they can just kind of wear you down slowly and keep gaining, gaining energy in battle. So you just have to kind of watch out what you're going up against, but generally, you will go first. Speaking of which, let's look at these base stats, and we're going to talk about two move configurations that I would recommend, one obviously over the other one, but there's a secondary option, so you might want to have two Zulongs. That one's kind of like for ranged attack, and one is for melee attack. But first, let's go over the main one that I would recommend, Looking at these base stats, you can see its speed is really, really high. The only thing that I can think of that is faster than this is a Gobademic. A Gobademic does have higher speed, but it's also got its other like pros and cons going on. So uh, the speed, really good. Definitely want to enhance that even more to try to go before any other uh, Zulongs, because Zulongs can hit Zulongs pretty hard with an Elemental Burst. So if two people send out a Zulong, it comes down to whoever's the fastest, and they could end up one-hitting with an Elemental Elemental burst move against another Zulong, and then that kind of takes out their their whole you know strategy with that. Uh, the ranged attack is pretty high. You can see it's 106. A 
quite a bit higher than the melee attack. The melee attack isn't too bad. The health and energy and the range defense, those are all pretty much average. The melee defense, as you can see, is really, really low. So that is its disadvantage. Even though it goes fast, its melee defense is pretty low. So you want to make sure that you go first in, uh, in battle and try to do as much damage as you can before you get hit too hard with anything with a melee attack. And this is another reason why the Himber is so strong. It tends to hit mostly with close-up melee attacks and it has earth moves, which is just a huge weakness for the Zulong. So as far as the moves set that I would recommend for the ranged configuration, okay, we're going to go to over two configurations with different training and different move sets. So the first one, the range one, I would recommend, and this is what I'm going for, you guys may have other recommendations, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I would recommend Elemental Burst, Thunder Strike, Ancient Roar, and Chili Chomp. Now I know Chili Chomp is a close range move and it's not going to be super effective, but it kind of gives you pretty good coverage. And I'd say of all the other rally moves that you can get, you can go for Chili Chomp. There's some other options that people might want to go for, you know, say that maybe Blaze Chomp would be more important, or Thunder Chomp because it is another, uh, it's another electric move, but we already have an electric move to be able to be effective with that. So that's why I would recommend the Elemental Burst, Thunder Strike, Ancient Roar and Chili Chomp. Now the TP training for that range configuration, I would recommend 200 on the speed, 200 on the range attack, and I would recommend 100 on the melee defense, or you could do 100 HP. HP will help too, that's kind of overall, it helps with both defense, but the melee defense is just so low that, you know, it might be nice to be able to uh, increase your defense just a little bit, and you may even want something like a shield uh, as, as an item that you hold as an amulet, but um, what I would recommend actually as, as an item that you would hold for this would be the Ancient Essence or the Electric Essence. Now the Ancient Essence I would actually hold on to myself because that Elemental Burst can be really, really valuable, and there's a lot of different Lumians that it can be really useful against. As far as the traits that I would go for, I would definitely go for Nimble. Nimble, uh, it's, it's important to have your speed up. The speed is already really, really high. Now, if you can just take advantage of the fact that you would go before most Lumians and you can hit pretty hard, that will be very useful for this Lumian. So if you can get Nimble, that would be perfect for you. Now, if you want your attacks to be a little harder hitting, you can go for Smart, but chances are, if you go up against another Zulong, it's probably going to be nimble, it's probably going to be faster, and it's probably going to take you down with one elemental burst pretty fast. So uh, that's what I would recommend for that ranged configuration. Um, now the other configuration, uh, so looking at the base stats, the melee attack is at 89. Now that's not bad. It's average or slightly above average. The ranged attack is a lot higher, but it doesn't mean that you can't turn this thing into a melee attack machine. And there is quite a few options for the melee attack and things that you can get for moves along that, that line. So um, if you're going to do a melee attack machine and have one close, what I recommend, what I do is I like to have both. One that is a ranged machine, one that's a melee attack machine, and they never know which one I'm going to throw in. So it kind of keeps people on their toes. Uh, but as far as the moves that I would go for for the melee attack machine, I would go for Blaze Chomp, Chili Chomp, Primal Slash, and Thunder Chomp. So that gives you really good coverage. You've got a fire type move, you've got an ice type move, you've got an ancient type move, and you've got an electric type move. The ancient and the electric are gonna be a bit stronger for you. So if you can use those ones and all things being equal, those ones will be stronger and I would recommend using those. But if you've got like all your training up really, really well on your melee moves and all that stuff, then the other ones, the Blaze Chomp and the Chili Chomp can be pretty effective in battle as well. Although they only have like a 65 hit strength so you're going to want to try to make those as strong as possible which brings us to the recommended tp training for this configuration i would recommend um i would go 200 on speed as well because either way this guy speed is the advantage you want to be like as loaded up on speed as you can also for that reason the trait nimble is really really good as well that's it's, it's going to be very very helpful uh as far as for this melee attack configuration i would also do 200 melee attack training 
and then 100 on the melee defense or again you could do HP if you wanted to kind of spread it a little bit but the defense for the ranged moves is already okay um, and if you wanted if you didn't want to do nimble you could be brawny but you're gonna have to make sure that thing can take a hit because if it goes in there and it doesn't go first again against another Zulong it's very common for people to put Zulongs in battle if they hit you with an elemental burst you're not even gonna get a chance to use any of those melee moves so definitely guys nimble is definitely a recommended trait try to make your hits as strong as possible I would actually in that case I would hold on to an ice type essence just to make my chili chomp a little stronger because I think it'd be universally a little bit more useful than those other ones my primal slash my thunder chomp those are already gonna be pretty strong but you can if you choose to you can make those stronger with an ancient essence or an electric essence instead and then the blaze chomp you know you could do that if you choose as well but I still think chili chomp or blaze chomp it's kind of a toss-up and I think the chili chomp is something that we'd probably make more use of so that's what I would recommend in that configuration so basically that's what we've got there for the Zulong it is super fast it doesn't take a hit very well so it's 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 fast but it's a little weak so you got to take advantage of its strength so make sure that you get that thing trained and get it uh, in the speed and you get it nimble if possible um, again like I said overview for my range configuration would be elemental burst thunder strike ancient roar and chili chomp and then for the melee it would ble be blaze chomp chili chomp primal slash and thunder chomp the training of course would be speed and then whichever attack range or melee and then you want to help your defense with the training nimble would be the trait and whatever you want to hold would be whatever essence would help any particular move if you guys are new here i would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later